Okay, so we can start by preparing the the mold. Okay, we are not using the, the wax. To <laughs> make a very fast mold, you can just use a cup. You can cut it. We have our mold, okay? Assume that this is the the wax, okay? And it was carved like this, okay? Mm -hmm. And so you are ready with your mold. Now we need to mix the the rubber. You get the yogurt part for that? I have a yogurt thing. A yogurt? What? Yeah, it's the the cup from a yogurt. So we need the scale, the digital scale. We need a digital scale here, like this. Maybe we can put a little bit down. Okay. We can take this off. Okay. So this is the yogurt. So we have to make the. Okay. So we need now we need the silicon rubber. And the first thing as you remember to do is to steer the um, the rubber ver rubber very well mm -hmm. when we first open it. The, yeah, the big one. The big part? Yeah. So we have five kilograms here. <laughs> Here the rubber. I take this uh, stick. Okay, it's very sturdy. If you want, you can sand a little bit the side because after five minutes that you are 
<laughs> mixing it with herbs. It's uh, and anyway, it's some cream. It's, it's just cream. Cream. Yeah. Just th th This is so big because we need to, to stir five kilograms. But when you are doing the small cup, you just need the small yes. one. Okay. So no more herbs, no. This is very good because this is very new and so you can feel that it's very liquid. When it's old, you can feel the density is much, much thicker. It's like this. this is the thing that I was telling you before, to scrap the side, the, the side of the, of the um, container you are using. Okay? So, instead of taking all the, the thing and put it inside, we just take our uh, how do you call it? Wooden stick mm -hmm. and put some in it. You can do more like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going without measuring, but I did a stupid thing because I bubble. no because this thing is doesn't take doesn't keep the tear. I think yeah. So it was just seven grams for the pot. For the pot, so we just take this without seven, so it's eighty. Mm -hmm. We have to make a maybe a little more. Uh, yeah. We have to estimate how much we need. Okay, so I think a little more. Maybe we can go up. You, to you just want to to fill. Uh, up yeah, we, we, you just want to go like. Like five five millimeters over four or five millimeters over the last okay. one, okay? Over over the the, the highest one. Okay. So one hundred twenty. I think it's okay like this, okay? Yeah. So we have one hundred and twenty grams for the uh, for the rubber. This rubber mix at. Uh, it's written somewhere here. Let's uh, sure where is it? It's five percent. Okay. No, that's the, the black one. You need is the yeah the blue one. The small one. Um, this one. This one. This is the uh, the hardener. Okay, and you can see it's colored, so you can you will see the difference in color. So we can take this away. Um, How much do we need? If we have 120, it was, was it 120? Oh, uh, yeah, 120. We need 5% of it, so it's 5%. If it, uh, if it was 25. 100, it's 5, and for 20, 5% of 20 is uh, 5 divided by 5, so it's 1. Six gram of this. Okay, am I doing right? Uh -huh. How do you call this? Hardener. Hardener. Okay, to open this bottle, you need to I think cut. You cut no, you don't. You need to cut a little bit this part here. But you have to be sure not to cut the bottle. Uh -huh. Okay. So back on the scale. Uh, yeah, you can, you can do this because this scale is very sensible. You can just go on the scale. Otherwise, you should. Uh, you like that? No, yeah, I want just to put a little bit of it here. Okay. So we have to go up to 130. Okay. So we need it more. Okay, that's enough, I think. You have also to think about uh, room temperature. When it's cold outside, you need more. When it's uh, hot, you need, hot you need less. So here the, the temperature is good, so we did a little, little less.
Okay, now to steer it. So I just see this. Let's put this down a little bit. Okay, and you go left in a circular way. Okay, you don't go up. If you go up, you put bubble in it. And as you can see, it's starting to mix. Now we have the colors. You can see the white color and the blue mm. color. In a while, we will stop seeing it and it will just mix. Okay, sometimes you have to go out and step back from the, from the sides. You can go faster if you want. But at the beginning you don't go fast because the, the hardener is still liquid over here and if you go fast the hardener will just go away. Mm -hmm. So you just try to, to mix it. And at some point you can just move faster. D don't be scared of bo bubbles. The bubbles will always be there. There's no way you can put bubbles in it. Okay? That's why you brush before? That's why I always brush it. Because I always have bubbles. Also when then the thing is also, does the the rubber have the time to uh, make the bubbles go away before it cures? Because the rubber takes like a, a day to cure, okay? In the first hour is still liquid and it remains liquid for an hour at least. So in this hour it has the time for the bubbles to go away. When you are using like fast curing uh, rubber, you don't have time, uh, you don't let uh, the, the, the bubbles the time to go out. Okay, now I'm cleaning this and I'm going back on the side all the way down that's why it's, it's good to have a smooth surface because this way you don't you don't have bridges and stuff and then also on the on the bottom now I'm scraping the bottom okay going up a little bit okay so I think that the color is okay the texture the texture is okay so we just Start with a brush. Put it here. Just for the brush, just take the the cheapest one because there is no way you are going to reuse it unless you really put an effort in cleaning it. So you just start with some of it and you brush it, okay? You can also put a little bit of, uh, of rubber inside the mold like this. You can do this, for example, okay? To have some material and then you brush it, mm. okay? Be careful when you brush not to be too hard on the on the part because in this case we just tape it the the part so if you go too hard you will just move it mm. and it will go away and then yeah. it's a mess we have to deposit deposit yeah in your case you will have the the wax uh, so i mean that's this is this, this is not a problem for you but if you are doing something like this let's go near the camera so just go all around, all around your object, and you can see there are bubbles forming already, but you are just taking them away like this. Okay. Not sure this video is going to come out very well, but anyway. Okay. Now we have the completed. Uh, we, we brushed everywhere, okay? So we are pretty sure there are no bubbles, okay? Hmm. You, I mean, if you want to be extra sure, you can go like this, like this to like to crash the bubbles that maybe are there and you can see, but for now it's okay. 
Now, the thing with uh, pouring the resin, the rubber, is to... Let's try to put this here. No, just make it like this. Is to not go from this uh, uh, altitude, okay? But you have to go like something like this, okay? Very high. Because this way, there will be uh, a thin, mm -hmm. thin, thin stripe of rubber and the bubbles crash mm -hmm. when they mm -hmm. go down and also it's reached the, the mold with more power, like more, uh, it's, it's faster and so it crashed the bubble when it reached down. So you just start, you can help yourself with the stick, okay, and if it's too much you, you take it back, blah blah, and if the, the container is softer than this, when it's maybe a, a paper cup, okay, when it's a paper cup, one thing you do is just to crash it like this, and so you have a, mm, a fillet. A fillet, yeah. Mm. So I would use I mean, because I bought it now, but I, I would use this uh, this uh, paper one because they have flat and they are flat inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's better than the this one. So and another thing you do is you start pouring the silicon from the the bottom. Okay, never from the top because if you go on top, yeah, you the the. Um, the rubber goes down and maybe takes some bubble in it. Mm -hmm. If you go from the bottom, the rubber goes up uh, slowly and the, the air is taken out, okay, on, on top. So I would just choose some part of the mold to go down at the beginning. So here, okay. So staying there, I would just go up like this and wait wait for it to fill completely all the space around it you see mm. like this let's see on the camera here but I think we, we just okay we just reached the top of the of one of the parts so we just need like a five millimeter more to go up okay if you really want to be careful with this molding thing uh, you could put this like box you make on a on a table and you could put a level uh, next to it to be sure that it's level, okay? Mm. Because if you if it if it hardens like this, then your uh, your mm -hmm. your mold will be like yeah, this, yeah. okay? Mm. So this one must be parallel to the to okay. the so bottom, yes. so you will have the a good level. Uh, do we have something else that we can mold? Mm. I would just go without the brush here. Yeah. Not sure if we have enough, and you can see it's already sticky starting right. to get sticky because the the pot life of this uh, of the rubber uh, it's not so long. I mean, the pot life means uh, the the time you can use it into the pot, so the container. Okay, outside the outside the container. When no, 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 no. When it's mixed in your container, oh, okay. so that's the pot. Uh, the 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 life that it's in its own container is called the shelf life. Mm. So, uh, like 15 minutes, and it's uh, if it's under some light, like like now, it's hot. It's even less. But it's still. I mean, you can still use it. I usually try to use. It all the rubber I have because I like not to waste, waste stuff and also uh, a cylind cylindrical uh, stick is good when you mix but it's not good when you want to scrape the side <laughs> 
Okay. Mm. So we can just make a ugly mold for in this case, but it's this, this could be good enough for doing something more and not wasting the, this this rubber. Okay. Now we are doing something like I did before. I show you before, like we are doing a glove of, of silic silicon rubber, and in this case, when when this mold is hard and we turn it, it's not playing like this. Okay, so it, it would be easy, it would be difficult to make it uh, parallel to the ground. Mm. So we, after the, the, resin, the, uh, the rubber is cured, we could put some plaster on it to make a, like a leveling uh, um, armor for it, and so you can use it later. Uh, okay, I will close this one and show you a fast 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 thing that is very nice and easy to do um, and it's uh, cheap can I can I have some um, tissue. tissue yeah thank you You can clean the brush only when it when the when the rubber is still uh, right. soft. Right. Because when it's uh, cured, you can do anything. You can uh, you can uh, throw your brush. Yeah, that's why you always. I mean, you end up buying cheap uh, brush. brush that you just use once. Okay, this thing is called. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's a, it has a name. It's silicone. Not rubber, but the silicon, acetic silicon that you use for for your um, bathrooms or for the um, glasses for windows, you know. Mm -hmm. And we are going to reuse this and mazena, which is um, flour from cow. Yeah, corn starch. That is in English. The thing is that the uh, uh, acetic silicon, it must be acetic silicon, it hardens, uh, so acetic, it hardens uh, with the um, releasing his humidity. Okay? So on the other side, cornstarch absorb humidity. So if you only use the silicon, you will uh, have to wait for a day for it to get hard and also okay and also you um, you can't make big uh, like I don't know big volumes so you can just make layers with this otherwise the if you make like I don't know a one cube centimeter, the inside will just stay soft, and the outside will uh, will get hard. But if you put the the cornstarch in it, the cornstarch absorb all the humidity from the silicon, even inside if you do blocks. Okay. So you can use it to make uh, simple, very very simple. Uh, mold but the, the big difference between this and that apart from the cost is that silicon rubber does not stick to anything so you can always demold it from anything I mean even if you put metal if you put wood if you put paper anything inside the with the rubber you can just take it away with this uh, silicon it sticks to stuff so you have to use a demolding agent for it. So you just go with the I don't need it. You just go with a little bit of corn starch uh, of silicon. Yeah. Take some of it.
Okay. And then you go and mix your cornstarch in it. So you just add a little bit at the beginning. It's like cooking, okay? You have to go with your eye and decide. There's no mixing ratio for this. Only thing you have to, to understand is that the more cornstarch you put, uh, the faster it will hard get hard, but also the the um, thickest it will be. Yeah, it will be very thick. And anyway, it's very very difficult to mix this thing. At the beginning, it goes like this. Then, if you if you go fast, at some point you just. Uh, encapsulate all the I mean you take all the cornstarch inside and it becomes something like this yeah it's now okay when it does the the sound the ch -ch -ch sound yeah uh, be careful not to uh, <laughs> to eat, some. eat or to smell. smell it because the acetic acid is very 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 nasty I mean I don't think it's it's bad for your health but for sure it's it's like ammonium or something like that uh, yeah I think so not sure vinegar. anyway no, yeah it's like vinegar now we have this thing and you can put this thing with a spatula on our our mold our object so we can just take uh, another can we do something just like that? Yeah, we don't need. No, 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 we don't need because this not oh. this one is not liquid. Let's see if we still can. Yeah, we can still use this. Okay, I just do this. You want gloves? Hmm? You want plastic gloves? No, it's okay. So I'll just go like a spatula for it. Okay. The good thing is that you can do large. Uh, volumes of this okay uh, there's no way you can brush this over the uh, of the, mm -hmm. the part so you have to trust uh, the fact that there will be no bubbles but I mean this this system is very 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 uh, like hardcore okay it's nothing mm, nothing good for anything uh, that you really need to be nice and clean you just use it to to make something very very fast and that you don't really care about okay so like I don't know I want to reinforce something I can I can use this I want to put some gum part on something blah 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 so this can be good. There is something that is that has got the same uh, system, and it's called um, Sugru. Sugru is more more or less the same thing as this, but it's a paste that you can uh, use with your hands, uh, and, it's and it's something that hardens with the the humidity. Okay, so. This is our piece, uh, but you can find uh, nice ways of doing it. I mean, of working with this thing. Maybe you could put it like on a on a piece of paper. Maybe you can try to to make it plain. I don't know, like this. And maybe you later you can cut it. Or maybe I don't know. You could put it on fabric and have some I don't know some fabric with uh, some rubber on it. Uh, in the end, it would just be like rubber. Okay, it would not be any any different. Uh, I used it to make wheels for like a little robot. So you can just enjoy yourself. Wanna try using it? It's here. Uh, for this thing we will have to wait like an hour 
okay, to be ready. Okay. And for the blue one, the silicone rubber, we are going to need one day. So first thing we do now is to take the, the silicone rubber mold and put it away in a safe part of the lab. You see, it's already. It is already uh, cured. Mm. Curing. Okay. It's sticky. It's sticky. Do this. Okay. And also feel it with your finger. And feel it in the air. Okay guys, if you want you can make something, some more of it, or I don't know, uh, if we wait, uh, okay, no, I want to show you also the polyurethane casting, casting, so we are not doing it in, uh, in any mold, we will just do it in a cup, or maybe we can use this. Okay, so can you take me the, the other two, <laughs> two of them? <laughs> yes, and there's a brown one also. Okay. Okay, so this thing here is called silicon uh, polyurethane resin okay or plastic or urethane plastic or blah blah and it's a uh, two part uh, uh, resin component A and component B they are uh, the mixing ratio is the same is one to one uh, usually the white part the like whitish part uh, is always divided in two, in two parts it's like there's a liquid one and there's a solid one so every time you use it you have to mix it very well because when you, especially when you don't use it for a long time on the bottom it's really really thick okay? so you have to mix it very well the other part uh, you usually don't need to mix it uh, if you want to add something to this resin like maybe you want to add a color or you want to add uh, you know the aluminum powder we were talking before you have to do it on one part at a time I mean maybe I choose this part and I add everything to it before I mix it because when you mix this stuff I, I, you have like two minutes to to mix it and to pour it and uh, the the reaction starts uh, very soon. Uh, I will show you how it works. Okay, so this time we have to make it tar. So we start with one of the two components <coughs> and we just measure it by weight. Is there a, an order? No. You just take the two of them into different cups. Okay, so we just go and say, let's do, okay, 30, it's okay. Just a little bit to, to see how it works. After you, you pour it, you always, always clean the container. Okay? You have to clean it because it, especially the brown one, this one, it, uh, it gets hard during you time and, and you can't open it I mean you can but you have to crush the, the pot okay, so we have 30 gram on one side and we are going to do 30 gram on the other side it's half half yeah half okay. yeah mixing ratio is 1 to 1 Okay, 31, it's okay. It's not a big deal if there is a little, like, one gram more. And you also can make a visual... Uh, um, Approximation, yeah, density. Concentration, because yes, it's in 
yeah the now I, I had the um, the doubt that it was one to one in uh, in volume instead of uh, in um, uh, in weight, but the the mix ratio is one to one in weight. Okay, so this thing here, y you have more of this than this, but the, the weight is the same. So this thing weighs uh, less than that. So now you take your. We can use this maybe. This one is easy to clean. So you choose which one to pour in the other one. I usually pour the brown one inside the white one. Uh, yeah, the brown one into the white one because the white one has got the um, the inert, like I don't know, it, it's got some some part that it's uh, not the chemical, but it's like I don't know, like concrete. When you put the sand, sand is the inert. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just pour it in it, scrape very well all the side of your of your container. So you want to take all of the resin inside. Spend like some time to take all the resin because it's better to have I mean you, you were so careful mixing it and now you don't want to have uh, like I don't know five grams still in this one. And then you start mixing it. Okay? You just mix it. Let's try to show it here. You mix, 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 mix. It's not very, I mean, you don't need to mix it long like we did with the rubber, okay? So you mix it, you mix it, you mix it. And maybe like this it's okay, I think. For sure you don't mix after the point where it gets hot. Because at some point it gets hot, okay? And when it gets hot, it's, too <laughs> it's time to, to pour it. So we just try to use this uh, piece of plastic and just to so you can see how it goes. Okay. So you have to be careful to if you are doing a mold where you have to reach the top, you just have to stop at one point so to avoid the, the plastic to go all around. We can use I don't know another the cup. We can just put a little layer here, so we can have like Should a I disc. Try something? Can yeah. we try to put a lead in one of these? Yeah, but it will go down, so you have to Hold maybe it. take something. Wait. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's do it. Uh, it's getting hot because uh, yeah. there is a lot yeah. of. There is a lot of resin in the same in the same part, okay? So I'm in the same pot. So since this uh, reaction is a thermical reaction, if the volume is is, is big, if the volume of uh, of resin is big, all in the same part, you you have the the reaction starting sooner because you have the um, you have more uh, um, how do you call it? the temperature is is bigger i mean i don't know how to say mm -hmm. uh, it's like um, the dispersion of uh heat heat okay the heat dispersion uh, when the volume is uh, higher, is higher uh, there's less heat dispersion, so the, the, the heat accumulates and the reaction starts sooner. When it's just uh, a small amount and the heat dispersion is higher, you can, I mean, it takes longer. Okay? How long will it take? Uh, this the this one with a lot of uh, resin is already starting because it's changing color. You can see, you see the color is different uh -huh. here, here, and here. This one's changing too. No? At one point, you will see it becoming white. Tu vas taper une autre lettre, on va mettre une côté peut-être. Comme ça, c'est rejoint, tu vois pas. So we we really use a lot for this. Uh, we wasted a lot of it. 
Oh, now I forgot something that we could have done was to, no, it's too, too late. It was to put the this leftover resin, look at it, look at this. It's yes. changing color. Yeah, yeah. On top of the blue, you, you mean? Think we could have put this on top of the blue resin to... No, no, it's no, not too late. late. We could have put it here to make it as uh, an armor for it. <laughs> but you see, this one is already getting wet and s uh, li feel it. How hot is it? And see how it's uh, it's gummy already. I mean, you can. It's already you can you can. Okay. You can put this here. <laughs> C'est dans une pique, c'est un moment avec son café, il se verse, il ne se verse pas. Je vois pas. Ok, so le truc. We have, we had more or less everything covered, ok? We had the rubber, the silicone rubber, and making a mold. The hardcore. We had the, the hardcore thing, and then we had uh, the, the raising. Okay, uh, but it's not only this. I mean, you could in in the rubber mold you can put ice, you can water and become make it ice. You can if it's a, a food safe one, you can put uh, chocolate or anything. Uh, you could put concrete. But ice, if I want to make uh, something to make ice cube uh, in my fridge, uh -huh. it has to be food safe. Mm, yeah, I think so. Yeah, and you can put. Uh, concrete, you can put gypsum, you can put plaster, you can put coffee mm, tops, and uh, you can put uh, like really anything. And you can mix stuff into this resin. I don't know, I want it to, to have a color, you can use color for urethane resin. You don't <coughs> use mm, uh, like multi purpose color like the one you can buy at the hardware store because they will explode. I mean, uh, it happened to me. I just put some, any kind of color, the one that you used to mix the, the, the paint for your walls, mm -hmm. and it starts bubbling and exploding and f and f uh, uh, you say, um, yeah. frying, okay? Yeah. It was frying, because it, it was a reaction between the water contained in the paint and uh, the resin. And when it's done, it's cold. When it's done, it's cold, and and if you put a finger on it, it's not sticky. It's still a little sticky. <laughs> if you try to take it out now, it will it will just okay. be uh, gum. Okay. And silicone, <laughs> you said, it's 24 hour dry. Yeah, I mean to be sure, I just I would just leave it for 24 hours. Okay, so tomorrow night, tomorrow at five. You but can try this I one. mean, since it's uh, it's hot, and maybe we put a little bit more of the. No, but it's okay. I think that this one is already good tomorrow at lunch. In, in this one, how long it take? Does it take? It should already be. Yeah, it's still not. St now it's not sticky anymore. No, and you, you see, it, it's still soft. Mm -hmm. Let's see it. The hardcore one, it's still a little soft, but it's already. I mean, hardening. Mm -hmm. Okay. At at this point, you you can also try to use it with your hand like trying to make a use it like a a paste okay we we did put a few i mean we could have put more cornstarch in it if you put more cornstarch you can make a try now if you put more cornstarch it will just get hard in f 5 minutes okay let's see Let's go over it. This one is very hot now. Very, very hot. Ooh. Try it. It's really... Uh, what do you say? 
This one is not. This one is not even sticky anymore. And this one either. And this is the mess we made. 